Docker Compose makes it easy to horizontally scale an application. Horizontal scaling means adding more machines or nodes to handle a workload like internet traffic or data. These nodes are typically created through simple replication. To demonstrate, consider the following Docker file right here. All it does is create a node container, install the packages, and start it up. And this is for one container. But then if we go to our Docker Compose file, which uses this Docker file, we have this server service and it deploys six replicas of these node containers. So if I run this with Docker Compose up and run it in the background, we can see all our servers starting up right here. Now, if I run Docker PS, we can see them all listed, which were created just about six seconds ago. And in front of these, I have an Nginx load balancer, which will distribute the requests among these servers. But that's just how easy it is to spin up multiple replicas with Docker Compose. We can also scale our application dynamically from the command line. So right now I have what was it, six containers. We can use docker compose scale. Or let me actually clear and go to the top. We use docker compose scale. Then we select the service we want to scale. And let's say I want to downscale the server actually to three. So here's our server service, and we want to set the replicas to three. Notice how we have these ones running, but it shut down four, five, and six. So if we run docker ps, now we only have these three. And then say our the traffic increases on our website, so we want to increase this again, let's set it to five this time. Now we've started two extra servers. And if we run Docker PS, we have five of them running right here. That's just how easy it is to scale. But something that is important to note is that setting the container port and name can create collisions when working with replicas. So note here how the name of the containers are all different to so my project, server five, server three, all that. This is done automatically by Docker Compose, which basically names it after the project. So if you set, say for example, container name like I am right here with Nginx, if you do that in here, you'll get collisions. And same with port mappings, because they'll all be inside the Docker network. But I'm actually gonna make a video on how to build this whole thing from scratch if you're interested, so subscribe. If you like content like this, check out my course in the description, they're pretty cool. Besides that, take it easy. Thank you for making it to this part of the video. Alrighty, peace.